had enough yet? Have you had enough yet? Are you ready now? Do you really want to know the answers to the questions you're asking? Are you going to answer me? You've asked a lot of questions. You're angry. And now I ask you, do you really want to know the answers to the questions you're asking? Or are you just venting? This is crazy. I know what you're thinking. And I talk to everyone. All the time. In their own voice. The question is, who listens? From the highest mountain it has been shouted, in the lowest place its whisper has been heard. And through the corridors of all human experience, this truth has been echoed. Love is the answer. You have projected the role of parent onto God and have thus come up with a God who judges and rewards or punishes. You have created a fear-based reality around love. And this fear-based love reality dominates your experience of love. Indeed, it actually creates it. Is it fear that you need in order to be, do, and have what is intrinsically right? Must you be threatened in order to be good? And what is being good? Who gets the final say about that? I tell you this. You are your own rule maker. You set the guidelines. Love is all there is. Yes, you've heard it before. In fact, I've even put it on a bumper sticker for you. But in times of trouble, in times of worry, doubt, or fear, you choose to forget. What you should do is answer the simple question, what would love do now? To live your life without expectation, without the need for specific results. That is freedom. Remember, you are constantly in the act of creating yourself. You are in every moment deciding who and what you are. You decide this largely through the choices you make regarding who and what you feel passionate about. I gotta tell you, I'm a little worried about what people might say when I tell them I'm having a conversation with you. Worry is the activity of a mind that does not understand its connection with me. Mm. Do you remember the question, what would love do now? Of course. Answer that question, Neil. And I will be there, always, in all ways. Suffering has nothing to do with events, but with one's reaction to them. What's happening is merely what's happening. How we feel about it is another matter. I just want my life back. You can't have anything you want. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? You just said I can't have anything I want. That's right. What? You can't have anything you I want. I can't have anything I want. Correct. Well, that doesn't make sense. Sure it does. Your very request is one of lack, and you saying you want a thing only works to produce that precise experience wanting in your reality. Yeah. Should I therefore punish you for making a choice that I myself have laid before you? This is a question you must ask yourself before you would assign me the role of a condemning God. Unendingly have you beseeched me, show myself, explain myself, reveal myself. I am doing so here in terms so plain you cannot misunderstand. I am here, right here, right now. Now is the time.
time to go to your God space. More than ever, it will bring you great peace of mind. And from a peaceful mind do great ideas flow. Ideas which could be solutions to the biggest problems you imagine yourself to Can you imagine have. this is too big a problem for me to solve? Is getting out of this jam too big a miracle for me to handle? I understand that you may think it's too big for you to handle, even with all the tools I've given you, but do you really think it's too big for me? Sometimes you frustrate the hell out of me. I would think that'd be a good thing. Is this supposed to be funny? Well, who do you think invented humor? Bless you. I don't know what you want from me. Neil, you've got me all wrong. And you've got you all wrong, too. I don't want anything from you other than for you to be happy. But you think you are below me, when in truth we are all one. There is no separation. I want for you what you want for you. Nothing more, nothing less. I am not concerned about your worldly success. Only you are. You are not to worry about making a living. True masters are those who have chosen to make a life rather than a living. Go ahead, do whatever you really love. Do nothing else. You have so little time. How can you think of wasting a moment doing something for a living that you don't like to do? That is not a living. That is a dying. Neil? Neil? Mm. What are you having me type? Oh, still trying to figure that out. What time is it? Neil. It's amazing. No, what's, what's amazing? This stuff is distracting me while I'm at work. Oh. And I love it. I don't care if this is going to sound weird or what people might think about me for saying something like this, but I've been asleep, stuck in this perpetuating nightmare of a life primarily built on fear and doubt do you really want to know how much time I've spent in my life worrying about how I was going to make a living worried about making ends meet I don't want to spend my life making a living Neil I want to spend my life making a life Life that makes a difference. A life built on love and compassion. And this stuff... Neil, I'm even rereading things. I've already finished. <laughs> do you hear what I'm saying to you? I do, I do. Listen, I gotta tell you. It's, it's like I'm just standing by. I'm just taking dictation. Like, I, I can't stop. Why would you? You're a... This... It's going to be a book. Not just one book. <sighs> this should complete book one. I've already got uh, six more filled with material for book two. <sighs> I better get busy. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, listen, I know I'm not paying you. Stop. I don't expect you to work for free. Neil, we're friends. Besides, just think of all the money I'll be saving on therapy. <laughs> okay. I want to make a deal. If something does happen from this, uh, I want to share some of the profits with you. If you want to create abundance for yourself, create it for someone else. Did I write that? Oh, my friend, you got yourself a deal. fit into your line of books. Oh, that's 
point. It's not supposed to fit into anybody's line of books. actually read your own mail. Used to be. Bob Friedman, Hampton Roads Publishing. Hey, Bob. You took the dare. Yes. And I like your style, Neil. Go get what you want, go right to the top. Exactly what I would do if I was a man in your position. Uh, what, what, what exactly is my position? Uh, you're about to become a published author, Neil. You're, hmm? you're kidding. I never kid about money. We're going to start out with 5,000 copies. What happens after my family gets done reading it, Bob? <laughs> Optimism! I like that. I believe in the book. So do I. Which, Which is why we're putting this on the fast track. Okay. My office will call your people. They'll work out the details. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just, uh, uh, Bob, I am my people. Not anymore, Neil. Now you've got yourself a partner. I'll be in touch. Gotcha.